Welcome to Competitive Edge Products. I'm going to briefly show you how easy it is to add grommets to your Kodiak tent. By the time we're done with the awning, we will have five grommet holes. Now your awning already has holes number one and two, and if you have a recent 10 by 14 model, it even has the number five already. Most people don't own a grommet kit, and I didn't either. I purchased mine from Home Depot. It was about $10. This is the exact model they have online and in store. The first thing we're going to do is unpack the tent and then roll out the awning. You'll notice it already has one grommet hole there in the corner. We're going to add a second hole. Take your tape measure and measure four inches from the edge and then mark it with a, a sharpie as I've done here. The grommet kit comes with a wooden square like this. We're going to place it right underneath the mark and then we're going to grab the hole punching tool that also comes with the grommet kit and line it over the hole. You'll notice that the hole puncher has a tapered side. We're going to place that down. That's the sharp end right over the hole. And then we're going to take a rubber mallet and pound on it. For some reason, the grommet kit that I have, I couldn't get it to make a perfect circle hole. It only did about three quarters of it, but that's okay. You can take scissors and finish it as I've done here. It doesn't matter if it cuts a perfect hole. The important thing is to have a hole there. Again, the more circular the hole is, the better, but it doesn't have to be perfect. You'll notice here that I'm flipping the canvas over because I want the grommets to match. It isn't very important, but you'll see here in just a moment why I've done that. You'll take this piece, this metal piece that comes with the grommet kit. It receives that, this end of the grommet. Simply set it on the cement, line up the hole, push the canvas down, grab the other end of the grommet and place it on top. Next, we're gonna take this other piece that also comes with the grommet kit. We're gonna set it on top of that grommet with the threads facing up. This is gonna secure them together as we tap it. We're gonna use a regular hammer this time. Simply tap down and you can kind of feel it move and you can feel the grommets compressing and attaching to each other. As soon as it's done, simply remove that. Now you can see why I've done it this way, flipping the canvas over, because I want the grommets to match as best they can. As I explained in the beginning, you should have at least two grommet holes already. Mine has the center hole already right here because mine's a 10 by 14 and it's one of the newer models. And it comes like this. If yours doesn't have this, it's okay. They're very easy to put in. If yours is a 10 by 10, it likely doesn't have that center hole, so you'll want to add that one as well. Why are we even adding the grommets, you might ask? It isn't required by any means, but there is an advantage. The awning, when you add these grommets, overlaps the vestibule by about four inches, keeping out rain and snow and anything that would get through that seam. This is what it looks like from the underside. You can see that the seam is completely covered, keeping out rain and snow. The vestibule is fantastic. It provides privacy and a degree of protection from the elements. It can help keep gear out of the sight of other campers and provide some protection from the elements. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us at competitiveedgeproducts.com.